And we start with new developments in the case against an East Valley High School teacher accused of shooting at his ex-wife last month. Benjamin Hill now faces more charges, including attempted murder. As Crem 2's Shannon Mowdy found out today, May's shooting wasn't even the first time that investigators believe Hill tried to shoot at his ex. Shannon? Hill now faces charges related to a March shooting at a Cheney Starbucks. Police put those two shootings together after matching bullet casings from both scenes. 41-year-old Benjamin Hill was already facing an assault charge, accused of shooting at his ex-wife's car as she went to work at Sacred Heart. That shooting happened May 18th, but now investigators say it wasn't the first time Hill tried to kill his ex. Hill's now charged with attempted murder and assault for a shooting at a Cheney Starbucks March 4th. Court documents show a car was shot while waiting in the drive through while no one was hurt, the bullet came dangerously close to hitting the driver in the head, coming in through the back passenger side trunk window, skidding along the roof and landing on the dashboard. A bullet casing was found 180 feet away, though no nearby businesses caught the shooting on surveillance. That 9 millimeter casing was sent to the Washington State Patrol Crime Lab, and on June 8th, the lab notified Cheney police it matched a casing from a shooting at Division and 6. That same shooting where Hill's ex-wife's car was hit. Hill had already been arrested, charged, and was out on bond in that case. Investigators looked back at body camera video and witnesses at the Starbucks and made another connection. Sitting inside the Starbucks at the time of the shooting was Hill's daughter and ex-wife. Court records show based on where the casing was found, she would have been visible through the window. However, the shot went right from the shooter's perspective and went in the victim's vehicle. Since Hill was out on bond for the May shooting, investigators expedited a test firing of the gun used in the shooting and confirmed it was used in the Cheney case. Hill was arrested June 16th for attempted murder and assault. He's now being held on $1 million bond. The East Valley superintendent tells me Hill has been on leave since his May arrest and hasn't been on campus since then. Right now, Hill's expected to go to trial for both cases on August 21st. Shannon Mowdy, Crem 2 News.